Hello everyone, quick tip here on how to customize your click page without using Teams, okay? So we'll, we're gonna change the CSS elements from the page without using any Teams, but it's a very simple work, work around, okay? Let's edit sheet here. You can come to the multi KPI object, bring it, bring it to the page, and we need to add a measure or a dimension. <clears throat> In this case, I would just add one as a measure, okay? and hide here the value and the label. In the appearance tab here, we have this styles sheet and we can change the CSS element. So the first thing we are gonna do is to change the green color of this selected fields to blue. And I have uh, separated here the, these elements and for the filter, we have this classes and you can change the background color and so on. So I will just copy this section here, paste it in here. And there we go. We have the filters in blue. Okay. Another tip here is to go to Google. You can type RGB space zero space zero space zero. And then you can find this tool and select the color that you want using the, the hex or the RGB. Okay. Now we can change the background color using this this class okay so let's change this one i will copy it here go back to my uh, multi kpi element now i need to insert the background the background element uh, the background um, text in here for that i'm using css gradient.io okay i made here this blue gradient uh, you could like customize the, the way you want uh, in this case, I'm using this gradient. So copy, paste inside here. There we go. We, we now have this blue <coughs> uh, gradient in the background. Let's just, uh, like you can see that we need to hide this uh, multi KPI object, okay? And now let's just add a shadow around this bar chart. Let's use this QV object bar chart element, copy it, come back to the mood KPI styles and paste it in here. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Hope you like it and see you soon.